Hi everyone, Mateo here. Um, I got to see an endocrinologist for the first time um, since being on hormones, and I really liked meeting with her. Um, so I would, in the past, go and see um, general practitioners um, that had an interest in um, transgendered medicine. And uh, that's kind of how I got my access to my hormones. Um, but luckily, well, in a way, I, I didn't want to see an endocrinologist just because I was used to just seeing um, just general doctors. And I felt like they were adequate enough for what I needed to do. And they were able to answer any questions I really had. Um, but this endocrinologist, like, they know their stuff. And she actually had suggested um, that when I hit 40 to go and get a, a bone scan um, to see what my, my density levels are, uh, considering I basically threw my body into um, menopause by starting testosterone. So that makes sense, right? Like I, like I never really um, had that brought up to me before by other um, doctors. So it was good to know. Um, also about breast exams. Um, uh, last year, I actually went to Kaiser and got some um, a pap smear done. Um, but at that point in time, I think the doctor just assumed I had had chest surgery, um, you know, and I, and I didn't have a top on. Um, and she didn't do a breast exam. Um, but the year previous, the other doctor had asked me if I had chest surgery, and I said no, and then she did do a breast exam. So it was kind of missed there um, over at Kaiser just because, she didn't ask and just assumed. Um, so this doctor again indicated that every year or two or so that I need to go and, and get that done as well. Um, and when I first started testosterone, I had got a sheet from um, a doctor just indicating what were the side effects of testosterone and then on the back side, like what I need to be worried about or also what I need to do um, to take care of myself which is a really, really nice um, handout, uh, which I've never received from any other doctor. So I, I've held it on to it for, the, um, for five years so far. Um, hopefully I don't lose it. Um, but on there, it indicated that I need to um, take calcium supplements. Um, and again, that goes back to uh, throwing my body into menopause early. And uh, I guess estrogen, I believe, helps. Uh, some way with uh, your, your bone density, like maintaining it. Um, and so calcium, I was taking some calcium tablets, um, but this doctor indicated not to take tablets because um, you may build it up too much in your body um, and that can cause for some negative effects. So she had indicated I need to eat calcium, which luckily I took a look at the, take, took a look at the, um, almond milk packaging that we have, and it does come fortified with calcium in it. Uh, also, another source I can do is yogurt, uh, cheese, um, and every, you know, there's other the other things. So I now I'm going to be very conscious of that I need to have like a daily intake of, of calcium in my system. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was good to meet with her. Um, it was really difficult. Uh, through the Sutter um, Medical Center to find or to, f to call anybody so they could to find out if these doctors see transgendered patients. Absolutely nobody knew. And luckily my partner works at Sutter. So she actually had the in and would be able to um, speak to other uh, doctors or even, you know, coworkers about um, them knowing of, of doctors that see transgendered patients because uh, also this endocrinologist had mentioned that she's the only doctor that sees transgendered patients and when I had called um, nobody knew uh, the, the, the staff on the phone never knew um, they would have to get in contact with the the nurse that um, the, the physician's assistant to figure it out uh, so it just became a complex process where um, very different from Kaiser. With Kaiser, you just say transgendered, and they have like a list of people they'll give you, and they know exactly which 
gynecologist to go to, which general practitioner, which endocrinologist to go see, um, which is really, really nice. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> So I'm not sure if anybody has experienced that with any other health centers that, you know, Kaiser's like an A and Sutter is just failing. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, luckily I got everything aligned. Um, so I just saw, oh, what was her name? I have to post it at the bottom um, of this doctor. She's in Castro Valley here in the, in the Bay Area. Um, and then also, I'm going to be seeing uh, a gynecologist to get my hysterectomy set up um, hopefully soon. Not that I'm in a rush or anything, but I think it's better that I get those parts out just because I'm not using them. And additionally, um, I would be able to lower my testosterone dose because um, it's always been a concern of mine of having a, a high dose um, to counteract the effects of the estrogen that my body's still producing from my parts. So I'm really glad I'm getting that set up. So yeah, um, if you're able to through, through your um, health center to see an endocrinologist, I'd recommend you do it. And especially if they um, have had a uh, history with working with transgender patients, because um, again, they know more than just the general doctor. All right, um, that is all. Hope all is well with everybody. Take care.